Here it is, folks. We've all managed to mess around and live long enough to mill our massive poplar logs. Who would have thought? This poor little guy can't handle most of them, right? You've seen that, it took two of them, him and another one, to load them. It can do that little guy. It might be able to do these halvesies, but it dang sure ain't gonna do that one. But I got something in store. Say hello to my little friend. I'm so freaking excited. <laughs> Today's video is all about a systematic approach to milling timber. Kind of uh, rudimentary to some folks, but this is how we do it. We're off grid, middle of nowhere, and we have to pressure wash the logs. I don't like to cut or mill timbers with uh, any kind of dirt on them at all. Rocks, dirt, debris. So what I like to do is get my log as perfectly clean as I can, keep it out of the dirt, keep it out of the rocks. By all means, don't dump your uh, logs in the gravel. You, you, you know, you, you, you don't, you don't want to do that. What we do to start off with is I have two railroad ties uh, spiked. You want to get some 12 inch spikes if you, if, if you want to do this. I don't know, this is how I do it. And you drive them through, so they're, they're, they're two units. I, I bring them out and store them <clears throat> as needed. I bored a inch and a half hole in the top of them and put a one foot chunk of T-post in them. That enables the log to be able to roll back and forth, but it won't roll off the end. So why there, I do this is so you can orientate it. So you want the smallest end, which is this dude, right? Not by much, but a little bit, pointed into the mill head. That way you know what you got. You can center your pits. If your flare's real big, you know how much to shave off. <clears throat> and you can pick it from this side, or you can pick it from the other side and orientate it in the secondary holding position, we'll call it. Yeah, how's that for technical? <laughs> Part of living in the mountains in the middle of nowhere. Rodents. Rodents. Look at the rodents. Look at this. Look at this, folks. Right? Who chews on a pressure washer? This is nonsense. Booyah. I'm going to move this log with my bare hands. Are no, you ready? You're not, you got a can't hook. And, and a can't hook. <laughs> Okay, do it again. No, you're fine. Do it, go. Positioning is important. I don't want to roll it onto myself. Well, yeah, but you, you're going on the wrong side, babe. No, I'm not. Yeah, you got to be on the other side. You're pulling it on you. No, I'm going to go this way. Oh. I'm not done yet. I'm not done. <clears throat> oh. Well, That's not going to work. You know why? Because you don't have any leverage. You got to go around the other side uh -huh. and then dig it in as deep as you can get. And yeah, like this? And push? Uh, no, you got to reposition it. You got to dig it in the bottom like and then pull up. Flip it around. Flip it around. Oh, yeah. Flip it around. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. You had it right. You got to go down at the bottom. Okay. The bottom of the log. The bottom of the log. Like this? The bottom of the log. <laughs> flip, flip that around. I'm gonna go to the bottom of the log if you'll give me a minute. You gotta go flip. <laughs> Here, let me show you. Well, I'll show you one and then you'll get it. <laughs> I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. You got this, baby. Don't give up. <laughs> Yay!
I call this my secondary staging. <laughs> I know, right? How cheesy can you get? But at any rate, wherever you stage your logs, you can them in a manner in which the small end is towards the head of the mill. You don't have to. You can always just, you know, run back and forth measuring a million times. But you know what you got if you do that. And it's, it just makes life a lot easier. So the reason it's pointed the opposite end, like maybe some of you tuned into that, is because I'm going to load this these timbers or railroad ties up with all the logs that I wash and then at which point I'm going to bring the excavator over here and I'm going to snatch this dude up and hey what do you know right it's pointed in the right direction so it's kind of a method to the madness It's as thick as my finger. <laughs> it's slippery. These suckers are slippery to pick up. Look where it's sliding on the. <laughs> I dropped more than I can. log slipped and busted this railroad tie right there it takes a lot to bust a railroad tie <clears throat> i'd say you got it stuck off the ground <laughs> it's unreal a railroad tie who would have thunk it i wouldn't have thunk it slide down there you go I can move fingers
Good boy. day.